What's going on guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Scholars. Today I want to go over three players that you should buy right now. Kicking off the list, we have Jared Kelnick. Now Jared Kelnick has really stumbled out of the gate, but this is a really young promising player that has a lot of potential to be a stud in the majors. Now for Dynasty and Keeper Leagues, this is a guy you should 100% target in my opinion. He's only hitting 111 right now. And he is very promising, and this is a prime time to get him if people are kind of freaking out, like, oh, will he be a superstar? Well, it's still a small sample size, what we've seen from him. And if you're in a dynasty or a keeper league, definitely target him. If you're in a redraft league, I would definitely take a swing at him, see if you can kind of give away, like, a less expensive player that's just kind of like, eh, he's been decent, but not, like, anything special, because people may be dropping him. So he's kind of a guy you've got to definitely look at for those uh, leagues. Now, I do want to talk about his minor league stats because he's just been so good in the minors. And in the minors, he hit 293. Han base was 368. He's going to get home runs and stolen bases. And if you look at what he's done this year, so he's only hit 111. He has eight hits. Now, those eight hits are including two home runs and two doubles. So he is hitting for power, which you love to see. He already stole three bags, too. So that's really promising to see also because he has not been on base like at all is on base is 200 but he still has three stolen bases so that's really nice to see i would definitely go after jared kelnick up next we have dominic smith now dominic smith i would go get him quickly because over the past week he's been scorching hot but he, overall this season he has not been that great but he is a really really promising talented player for the mets now he has great power upside this is a guy who can definitely hit 20 plus home runs Last season, he hit 316 with an on base of 377. So, you really love to see what he did last year. He's kind of stumbled out of the gate so far. But in 2019 and 2020, his batting average was always above 280, and his on base was always 355 or higher. And he both, in each of those seasons, he had 177 at bats apiece. So, we know that he can do it. He hit 10 home runs in 2019 and 11 last season. Definitely a guy to look at in Dominic Smith. Right now, his rank is 512 in most standard Yahoo leagues. So a lot of people could be panicking about him, but he is definitely a guy with a lot of potential. And lastly, we have Blake Snell. Now, I've heard a lot about Blake Snell over the past week and two weeks of like, should I drop him? What should I do with Blake Snell? I would go make a trade for him. Don't drop him because he has struggled quite a bit. Let's be honest here, guys. He has struggled. He's walked 31 hitters in only 47 innings, which is very scary. But keep in mind that he's always kind of struggled with his control issues and has walked a lot of guys. His stuff is still there. He's still striking out the same amount of uh, players that he normally strike out. His percentage is still there that it was last year and normally throughout his career. His 450 ERA is just not great to see. But this is when you have to get him because people are considering dropping him. You could probably get him for an absolute bargain. And he does have a lot of upside. So he's in San Diego, which I love. I mean, he's on a team that is rolling. They're one of the best, if not the best teams in the major. He's going to get plenty of run support. And he has the stuff to produce. Now, he's only pitched six innings once this season in one of his starts. So... That's something to kind of look at. But as the summer months comes along, he's going to heat up. His control, if he can get that control back, he's going to be really electric because he still has the same strikeout percentage and he's still looking very good despite the really iffy control. So, yeah, the control has really kind of derailed him this season, but I would still look to trade for Blake Snell because you can get him on the cheap right now. Thank you all for watching. More videos on the way.